This is the installation demonstration of smart power boom barrier 801 model. 801 model means heavy duty double spring. This is two spring and this is a heavy duty model. This is the boom barrier and this is the main PCB. This, this two is the main power on the left hand side. These four wire are the open stop close. This four wire is for the open stop close. This two wire is the power supply of the photo sensor and those two wire yellow and green are the photo cell NONC contact. So this is the total connection. This is the boom barrier. This is the base plate. This is not supplied as the standard accessories. These are the standard accessories. These four fastener will go at the bottom. These four fastener will be at the bottom and on the fastener this clamp will be connected. You just connect this clamp. You just connect this clamp and put the screw. This will be fixed on the base, base plate. RCC structure of 18 inches by 18 inches by 18 inches RCC structure. If the RCC structure is not good, instead of RCC structure, you can also have this base plate below the boom barrier. And you can put the boom barrier on this and could put the clamp like this and tight it like this. So you can fix directly with the fastener on the RCC structure or you can have a base plate properly mounted. Now this is the operation of the boom barrier. This is the switch. Open, close and stop. When you press the close, you can see the boom barrier is closing down. If you come in between, the photo sensor will work and the boom barrel will open. You can again close. The boom barrel is closing down. This is open. It is opening. If you press in between stop, it will stop also. But this function stop is not available in all the model. This is the boom. You need to install the boom first. Without boom installation, if you connect the uh, boom barrier, it will not take load and it will not be on. Now, when you want to test the switch, whether this open close stop is working or not, these are the four wire. If you short these two, the boom barrier will open. Suppose I, now the barrier is getting closed. Barrier is closed. Now I will stop these two and you will see the boom will open. I will stop this, short these two wire and you can see the barrier is getting up. If I stop the blue and the green, the barrier will close down. You can see the barrier is closing down. When I am pressing this two and this motor is rotating, barrier is closing down. <coughs> This is the manual operation. Suppose there is a power fail and you want to operate the barrier. Suppose there is a power fail. I, I make the power fail. These are the two lights normal. The power light is on and this, this limit switch is on. Suppose you want to operate the boom barrier and the power fail. I switch it off and there is no power and I want to open the barrier. This barrier is open. Now I want to open. So this is the handle. With the handle, you need to rotate, you need to rotate clockwise and the barrier is getting up. Now barrier is getting up, you are rotating it clockwise, the barrier is getting up. If you leave it in between, if you stop it in between, barrier is in this position, at that condition if the power comes, now power has come, it will auto reset. You can now close, open or close. So it will auto reset the position. There is another feature, auto close down feature. If you see these three switches, one, two, three. This is for auto close down. If you, these three switches, if first two switches, if you make up, this is up, this is up, then the barrier will auto close down in five seconds. What I do, I switch it off, 
I make it up. I make it up and make power on. Now, if I open the barrier, I am opening the barrier. Switch number one and two is automatic up. Now you will see the barrier will close down. It is closing down in five seconds automatically. So it is auto close down feature. And I make it open. And this is the photo sensor. If I close and if I come in between, the photo sensor will sense and the barrel will be on. These are the four wires of the photo sensor. Two, this uh, red and black are the power supply. Red and black are the power supply. Another two wire will be green and yellow. This green and yellow is the NO contact. This green and yellow will go at the top. This is the NO contact. Black and red will go at the bottom. Instead of you know, in some, some model you can have NC contact also, but in this 801 model, you have NO contact only. So this is the basic operation of the boom barrier. Now I will show you the limit switch operation. This is, there is a limit switch in between. These are the two limit switch condition. You can see this red LED is growing. Now it is in the closed position. If I make it open, you see the red LED is off. And once it reaches the open condition, the green LED will be there. If this LED does not grow, then you need to adjust the screw here. And this, this one should come in, this one should come in this. Then only it is climbing to the closed position and the limit switch is functioning properly. If none of the light is glowing, then it is stuck up in between the open and closed position. It may not work properly. Then you need to use the screw the loose the screw and make it adjust properly. Thanks for the successful demonstration. Thank you.